Welcome back to part four of this QLab tutorial series. We are in the home stretch now. After you've organized your QLab and you're ready to put it on a flash drive to bring to the theater, it is critically important that all the files your QLab is referencing are with the QLab workspace file. If you don't have the actual video, image, and audio files with your QLab on the flash drive, your QLab will not work. Fortunately, QLab makes it really easy to bundle all the files and the workspace together. When you're ready to move your QLab workspace from your computer to the flash drive you're taking to the theater, all you need to do is go to File, Bundle Workspace, and select where you want to save it. At this point, QLab will start working in the background to bundle your workspace. It may look like QLab has frozen, but it is working. You just have to let it do its thing. And after a minute, your new bundled workspace will pop up. All right, so now QLab has saved all of your files and your workspace in one place. So when QLab is done bundling the workspace, it will look like this, a new workspace file with an audio folder full of audio cues and a video folder full of visual cues. Please do not forget this step or you'll end up at the theater with no show. As an extra precaution, if you built your QLab on a laptop, just bring the laptop with you, just in case. All right, so. Let's say you've got your QLab on a flash drive, you are at the theater, and you are ready to hand it to the tech person. But if your QLab has visual cues, there is one more step before you're ready to go, and that is how to get your project on the projector at the theater. To demonstrate this, I actually screen recorded the process on the iMac at UCB Sunset. All right, so here we are on the iMac at UCB Sunset. The very first thing you would want to do is drag your project onto the computer. You don't want it uh, just referencing from the flash drive. You want it to be on the computer itself. Then you can eject the flash drive and make sure you don't accidentally leave it at the theater. I have definitely lost a good flash drive that way. Uh, so when it is done transferring, go ahead and open up the workspace. And the very first thing you'll see is a bunch of these red X's on your visual cues. Don't panic, all of these warnings are just telling you that the visual cues don't know where the projector is. So go to your workspace settings, which probably already popped up, and click on the video section. And you'll see it says a display is disconnected, so click on edit, go to replace screen, and replace that display with the projector connected to the theater computer. Double click on reset origin and reset control points and make sure that you checked keep rendering between cues. And now your show is ready to go. All right, that is it for part four. In part five, I will tell you why I do not like Keynote very much.